This week we're in Salt Lake City, Utah, and in American Rifleman First, we're visiting a coffee maker, Black Rifle Coffee Company. But there's a lot more going on here than just roasting some beans. This is a community of veteran entrepreneurs dedicated to providing conservative America products that they can get behind. The ultimate goal for Black Rifle, and it still stands today in our mission statement, is to have a quality coffee and give a conservative option to the consumer base. I think we see too much that uh, corporate entities have an approach that's anti-gun and things like that, and we want to stay true to the values of who we are, you know, patriots, uh, supporters of the Second Amendment, and people that believe in a quality product. And I mean, who doesn't like coffee? It brings everybody together. Uh, Black Rifle Coffee was started literally on the, the range, I guess you could say. So I started roasting coffee about 10 years ago in a little one pound roaster. And I was teaching uh, advanced tactics and carbine. I was also deploying back and forth to places like Iraq and Afghanistan. I started roasting coffee and pulling shots of espresso just to kind of break the monotony of deployments and to concentrate on something a little bit different. And uh, I met with uh, Article 15 Clothing, Matt Best and Jared Taylor, started Freedom Roast for Art 15, and then a few months later, Black Rifle Coffee was born. Black Rifle Coffee has become our vehicle to reach the most amount of veterans that, that want to work with us or veterans that want to start their own businesses. You know, as we analyzed our other companies and as we grew in Black Rifle Coffee, experienced exponential growth we saw this is where this is where all our efforts should be put because this is where we can make the most impact and now today um, you know we're almost at over a hundred employees the majority of the executive office here um, at Black Rifle is about 70 percent if not more um, combat veterans and so it's a really cool environment and Throughout well over a decade of war, there are so many men and women that have sacrificed life, limb, everything. They gave their whole early 20s, their adolescence was devoted to be defending this country. And then I think too often, general society, when they get out, wants to paint the word veteran in a negative light. Um, and that condemnation does not exist here at Black Rifle. We believe that the term veteran needs to represent successful and empowering what that individual is, not the opposite. It's fitting that we end up out here at the range because guns, the Second Amendment, that's a big part of our culture. Yeah, I truly believe that it's in uh, the heart and soul of what our brand is, is to support the Constitution and bring back what the American patriot used to be. You know, in contemporary society, we see a lot of issues with uh, supporting the red, white, and blue and the American flag, that it's almost outcast and you get ostracized for those beliefs. So as long as we can bring back what the American man used to be and woman and support, you know, being responsible for your own safety, then it's a win-win across the board, civilian and veterans alike. Right. Obviously, we know that, that there are huge swaths of America, and NRA members especially, that they still believe in personal responsibility, taking your personal defense into your own hands, uh, making your own destiny, and it's good to see companies right. that, are, that are getting behind that movement as well. Black Rifle Coffee literally has grown from the fact that I think people want a conservative coffee company. They want a pro-gun, pro-2A, conservative coffee company that represents their values. So uh, part of the message here is the fact that, yeah, we're veterans. Yes, it's a premium roast to order product. Three, we support the Constitution. So most everybody here took an oath to support and defend the Constitution. And we're still doing that. We're just doing it now in a different way. So we're roasting a premium roast to order product, but we're also supporting veterans and 2A endeavors. I started social media just kind of as a joke to make my friends laugh. I've always kind of been the, the class clown, as they'd say. You know, I take work very serious, but then I think there's a the time to laugh. Too often, especially in the veteran space, too many people dwell on on the negatives, and we we often get labeled that as veterans. That oh, you're 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 messed in society. You can't assimilate back. You can't. You're broken. And that rhetoric, it, I don't like it. I refuse to accept it. And I, I pride myself on creating a new. Uh, dialogue of what a veteran is. We like to laugh and I call it humor through horror. You know, a lot of these guys have seen so many things. You know, have these Delta Force guys that have, and SEAL Team 6 guys that have done 20 combat deployments that are all direct action. Like there's going to be some difficulties of them getting back into society and I think it's us as a community to build a support system to say, come on back man, let's laugh, let's laugh our way through all this crazy stuff we've seen. 
Black Rifle Coffee does serve as a guide. It's actually meant to serve as a guide for other companies uh, because we have found a certain amount of success, but there's a lot of lessons learned. So just like in deployments or you know combat cycles, if you're going through and performing after action reports, you want to be able to disseminate that information to the people in your unit, not only in your units, you want to be able to disseminate that information military-wide in some circumstances, depending on, on what's happened. So Black Rifle Coffee is literally, uh, in some ways, it's a train assistant advice for other veteran startups. So the guys that share the roof with us, they also share in the information and the lessons learned, and hopefully they're gonna come out the other end much better businessmen and more successful because of it. Our ideals with all these companies together is, is very similar. We believe strongly in America, we believe strongly in protecting what we love, and we are, we are all pro-Second Amendment. Uh, everybody that comes into this building that works is as a collective and as a group and as a team is, is very pro 2A. Uh, Peacemaker personally as a brand, we have a smoke hammer shirt that's based on the M1873, the single action Colt uh, Peacemaker. And that's kind of was the foundation for me of, of putting Peacemaker together. You know, as we move forward in this, we have a lot of experts that, that, have, that have raised their hand to, to come in and help us. And as we push forward, we're, we're giving these options and opportunities to people to, to run their own business and to, to join the, the team. Uh, the goal of BRCC from this point forward is to inspire and lead. So when I say that, I want to lead the coffee industry in, in performing a more ethical standard or raising an ethical standard as far as what you're roasting, what you're putting out, what people are drinking. I want people to buy Black Rifle Coffee because of who we are and what we do. So I want people to vote with their dollars every day. When they pick up a cup of Black Rifle Coffee, they have to know that one, it's roasted by a bunch of great men and women, and then two, uh, the money that you invest in that one cup of coffee every day, it's gonna go to something that you love. So for instance, right, we've got Thin Blue Line, it goes back to law enforcement, we've got Combat Fuel, it goes back to deployed soldiers overseas. Uh, and then we also do a ton of other philanthropy-based things in the industry, within the subculture. Besides the fact that we're also expanding franchise, when we expand franchise, we'll start hiring to a fairly substantial degree, more so than any other company in the veteran community. So our job is to inspire, lead, and hire, or emancipate men from government service. Matt, it's been a great day out here in Utah getting to see Black Rifle Coffee and all the other companies you guys are working with, the veteran entrepreneurs. Absolutely, and I want to thank American Rifleman for coming out here and checking out the business. And I think uh, the, the blood and heart and soul of our company breaks down to the, the Constitution or constitutional rights. So whether we employ veterans, civilians, at the end of the day, we just want to bring back the American patriot. And uh, we, want to, we kind of want to take society back where it's, it's okay to be patriotic. It's okay to be, believe in the red, white, and blue and the American flag and what we stand for. Well, let's gun up and, and shoot a little let's bit. Let's do it. All right. Woo!